And there, in front of the drugstore, there was a box about that wide and that high, and it had a grating over the top, and on each side it had a picture of a big rattlesnake coiled up, ready to strike, and underneath it said, Beware, baby rattlers inside. So we cautiously came up and looked in, and they were there all right. They were little baby rattlers of celluloid, you know, those little things that rattle. And so we must not be sidetracked by values. I don't know what I expected to see, and it was the funniest thing to look in. Baby rattlers, they were there. But the shock was terrible. <laughs> so let us uh, realize in striving for uh, uh, temporal things, that, that is, in striving only for temporal things, we, we lose the true values of life, and the true value is, what are we seeking? It is freedom. Freedom, freedom of the soul. Freedom from attachment to this worldly existence, this temporary living in which we find ourselves. Freedom of the soul is what we truly want. And so we need to just look around a little bit and we will see that most people are spending their time in pursuit of, rather than enjoying, health and wealth and freedom. They're pursuing something, hunting for something. Instead of looking right within themselves and finding that true wealth which is in the soul itself. It is no other place. The soul is blissful and peaceful because it is a ray of spirit. The soul is a ray of God. And what is God? God is bliss consciousness. And so, let us not be sidetracked but look around and see, see the millions of people who are following the will of the wisp of temporary places. There's no happiness there, there's no true wealth. And so we come to the question, now what to do about it? What to do about this thing? Well, the problem of acquiring true wealth is just the same as acquiring material wealth. There is no difference, the law is the same. Now to acquire material wealth. First, until we accumulate sufficient wealth to take care of our necessities, we must have some security until we can work and labor and lay up uh, material wealth. And so we do that. We, we create an estate. As you all know, and those of you who do not do that, especially if you're just starting out, should do it because you cannot tell what's in store. And so we create immediately in this material life. We create an estate to tide us over until what? Until we, through work and labor, lay up, lay up material wealth. We take out what we call insurance. And immediately we have created something of value. Now in attaining true wealth, the process is just the same. Exactly. Exactly. We immediately, if we're wise, and every one of us can do it, we create an estate, an, es an estate in spirit, an estate in spiritual consciousness, by taking out, as I have said, insurance that gives us that. You say, do they have insurance for heavenly things? Yes, they do. If you read the scripture, you'll find that out. And we find that out in that beautiful verse of Daniel, in the 10th chapter, the 12th verse, we read as follows. And then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, fear not, for the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand, and then to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard. And I am come for those words. Now there you have, right before your eyes, a statement of how to create immediately an estate in the kingdom of God. For when we read, thou hast set thine heart to, un when thou dost set thine heart to understand, this means that when there is a definite turning, 
a definite turning toward the supreme potent forces of God, the minute there is a definite turning toward God, you open up a channel for the supreme power of the Spirit to flow through you right then. Not next week, next year, right then. It says that. The first day we do this, we have taken out of our insurance for true spiritual values. The first day that you set your heart to understand, from the first day thou didst set thine heart to understand, right then, really, and you really mean business for God, you've opened up the channel, not for material forces, but for the supreme potent forces of spirit to work and take care of you. Now that's the first thing to do in laying up true wealth is to take out that insurance with God. And you can do it by meaning business with him and set your heart to understand and say, God, here I am. Now I mean business with you. And then what do you have to do? Then you have to, as it says, chasten thyself. Chasten thyself before God. What does that mean? 